welcome to Tavoletta. My name is Elias and this is, this is, okay guys, let's see, let's see by yourself. And this is Alex in Malta, reporting live from the capital city, Valletta. Thank you, Alex, for joining us today. Thank you so much. Guys, today Oscar is unfortunately not with us, but he will join soon. Man, to be honest, I a little bit missed to go to restaurants with Oscar. Yeah? I never thought that, but we are in the really middle of Valletta, really central, on the rooftop of the Hotel Embassy. Ta-da! We have the Basilica of Our Lady of Mont Carmel. Anytime you would Google Valletta, this pops out. It's like the staple of each of the videos and photos that you see when someone is promoting Malta. Restaurant Sliema, Sira, the Manuel Island, the Tashpish, the Sida, the Medina. So which means we cover everything here. Ivo, you told me that you need to know more about the prices. So in this video, we are going to speak about the prices more. I love the fact that you contacted me. Let's dive into it and let's have a look. Finally, we are sitting here. It's really hot, man, today. It's yeah? boiling. It's, it's boiling. It's so sweating wet. from up it's to everywhere, sweet. yeah? I really thank you for coming here today. Hey, you're my it was friend. really nice. Thanks for having me here. I love the view. I love your company always. I like your channel a lot. What you're doing, it's fun. I don't cover videos about food in Malta, so ta -da! you have ta -da! Elias for that. I mean, I mean, don't forget to subscribe him. I know he doesn't need our subscription, <laughs> but still. My impression of the place is like a romantic dinner, I would say, or like a yeah. uh, touristic lunch with uh, the family. You know what I like in Malta? That's something that I'm noticing in every restaurant. They always include gluten-free vegetables, yes, lactose-free, which is excellent. That's something that every restaurant should be doing, and I'm seeing it a lot in Malta. Classic beef burger, man. Yeah, this I'm is, going for this, a burger. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we have the Embassy beef burger, guys. I was one time here. Is it really good? Really good. But the only thing is that you need to be um, aware of is the uh, Maltese sausage. Yeah, the Maltese sausage they are really aromatic. I feel a little bit too much aroma. Mm -hmm. Too much taste. And they have a lot of majoran inside. So who, for whom who doesn't like majoran, I don't recommend. <laughs> The prices are really okay. Considering the spot where we are, prices are quite surprisingly good. Enjoy yeah, I that. like falafel. And what, what, what else would you like to order? No. Wait a minute, there is a trio of sausage. Yes. It's a bit super hot. <laughs> yes. This video deserves like because of the sacrifice we are doing out in like <laughs> boiling weather. It's true, it's true, it's true. <laughs> I'm thinking of trio of sausage because they have spicy sausage, Maltese sausage and an Italian sausage. So it's like three different that we could With try. With mustard dip. Yes, mm -hmm. so let's I go like with, mustard, with yeah. baked falafel and three of sausage. Okay, cool. Yes? Good choice. <laughs> so, and after, I will order burger and one pappardelle with prawns, and that's it. That's it. That's okay. it. Something to drink more for 11 euros, so the signature cookies are a little bit higher. The other cocktails are like 8 euro 50, but still good. The classic cocktails, they're pretty much the same price as everywhere yeah. else that I'm seeing. So, Caribanet twist. Carab Caribbean? Caribbean, oh, Caribbean man. Caribbean, <laughs> I cannot speak. <laughs> Caribbean <the> twist. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with the frozen margarita. Okay. Ah, nice choice. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sun is like straight into my face. Sorry, sorry guys, I'm with sunglasses, but I'm always with sunglasses. It's true, yeah. <laughs> well, oh, wow. Thanks. So, guys, we got bread. And it's kind of brown. First time I'm yeah. seeing brown And they're hot. Bread. And we have some butter. Look at that, the design of nice. it. How cool. It's beautiful. This? Thank you. Welcome. Himalayan. Oh, wow. They invested. <laughs> One of my biggest problems in Malta is, man, wherever you go, and they give you sachets. The pepper <laughs> and, and the sachets. And yeah. It's like. Why? Yeah. Why? And they have, all of them, they have that kind of thing, but they don't put it on the table. I don't get it, man. I'm quite surprised. They're amazing. They have I olive mean, oil, balsamic oil, it's nice. To find the Himalayan salt into a restaurant on the table and it's in a full jar, bottle, it's really, really cool. I love the lemon and the lime. And there is some pineapple inside as well. And we have like the dry, the dry one inside. Yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> Love it. 
really good. Wow, and it's strong as well. Thank you. <laughs> Refreshing and strong. Because sometimes, you know, when you find a cocktail bar and they have affordable prices, they put like zero alcohol in it and it's all based on ice. <laughs> no, this one is not like that at all. We have here the palafe and the rucola. I can guarantee you that they didn't, they didn't marinate the rucola because I, I can see that. It's fresh. But they, yes, but, but you know, you need always a little bit of marination. Otherwise, it's only a grass. Um, and they have a deep sauce. We have three different kind of sausage. This one is spicy. You can see it. And that one is a mustard, so homemade mustard. Let's give it a try, I would say. How is it? I don't like to stick it. <laughs> With your mouth food. The sausage is really good. It's spicy. I mean, to be honest, I hate mustard, but this one is really good. On a scale of one to 10, how spicy is the sausage? Like five, not at all. Yeah. Okay, but, that's good. But it's, I mean, it's a nice spice inside, but the mustard is really mild. And I like it, and I didn't expect that this sausage is so good like this. You need to try as well. I'm yeah? going to try the Italian. When you feel the herb, when you feel the pure meat in it, anything, whatever they put inside this Italian sausage, you can taste it. It's like the flavor, it's ongoing. Like you start chewing and you get a feel of a herb, then you get a feel of, wow. Do you like sausages? <laughs> Is that even a question? <laughs> 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 and even the mustard. Hold on, one more. Mm, mm -hmm. I want to try straight away the Maltese sausage. I prefer the Italian, regardless how much I love Malta. But there is a difference. I mean, I've tried Maltese sausage in another place, which was better than this, but, but the Italian, it just blew me away. Our really, chef is really just good. going. He is behind all this. So if he's not good, it's his fault. Yeah? It's my fault, yes. The Italian sausage is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. Where are you from? I was about to ask, that's why I started. So You're I'm from doing... Italy? I'm from Italy, yes. Nice. Di dove? Di Milano. Milano, bravo. Yes. I was comparing both of them, the Italian and the Malt Maltese. The Italian, it's like... Grazie, chef. Grazie a voi. Grazie, Grazie mille. A voi. Last one. Mmm. Mmm. Spicy one is good, yeah? Even the spicy one. Okay, I'm gonna give my one, two, three, and then I'll, I'll give you the channel back. <laughs> Tell me. Italian number one, spicy number two, Maltese number three. Full stop. That's enough of Alex in this video. <laughs> so let's go with the falafel. That was a good dip. Hmm. Is it I need dry? a little bit more, more dip. <laughs> Not as good as the sausage, I would say. It is a little bit dry, I would say. The tip, it looks like tzatziki, I would say, like the Greek tzatziki, uh, but it doesn't have too much taste, which makes it all together, the combination, like not exploding, not as much as exploding like the uh, sausage, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would definitely go for the sausage. Let me try the... This is the Italian one, right? Yes. Okay. No man, this is not the Italian one. This is the Maltese one. No, it's the Italian. I'm sure it's the Maltese one. I'm sure it's the Italian. <laughs> I know I, what I'm I talking bet. about. Let's bet. Okay, we'll because, bet. <laughs> because this has majoran inside. And I know the taste of majoran. That's the Italian, 100%. No, 200%. We will ask, we will ask the waiter. I like it. This is Maltese. This is Maltese. The one in I the middle. No, that's the I Italian. I can guarantee you, man. This is the Italian. I'm sure this is the Italian one. Okay, let's ask. Yes. How much do we bet? 10 euros? 10 euros, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Italian one. Excuse me, a question. Which one is the Maltese one? The middle. Loser. <laughs> okay, well. More herbs are Maltese because they are more flavored. 
Well, that's what I liked, the so, flavor. So you Maltese like Maltese? Are... So Maltese, Maltese, now it's my number yes. one. Yeah. <gasps> <Woo -hoo! laughs> Excellent, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Me to lose on a bet about sausages? Me? Sorry, bro. So Maltese is number one. Out of all of them, Maltese is number one. But so for me, excellent. this one is better one. Like and I the love spicy. the spicy. Then second, the Maltese and after the Italian. Nice one, nice one. Cool. I'm happy that I learned the Maltese, they put the spice, the herbs to get that beautiful flavor. But the Italian one, it's less it's true. refined, how to say it. I'm happy that the Maltese, I like the Maltese sausage. <laughs> So you pass your exam, yeah? Yeah, I pass my exam and I pass that every Maltese is watching this video is gonna say, oh, okay, he likes our sausage. Well, <laughs> I've tried a lot of a lot of uh, sausages in uh, Italy. Oh. Why are you like that? <laughs> You're speaking about the food, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love salami, like salami Milano. Ah, yeah. And as I'm from Austria, we have next to us like uh, the Hungarian salami, which is uh, also really famous. Haven't tried it. It's really good, really thin, but really tasty. Um, and this kind I've never tried. So I loved really the Maltese one. But you cannot combine that with something else. That's why I didn't, I told you not to take the embassy uh, burger, because when you have this and the beef, you don't, you don't feel beef anymore because mm. the mayoran is too strong for that. You know it what I mean? It will empower the entire yes. burger, you are right. So that's how you knew what is a Maltese sausage, what, yes. not, what is Italian. Yes, because last time I asked them, I told them, guys, I don't know, everything's really good, but the mayoran, why you put mayoran inside the burger? And the manager came and said, no, it's the Maltese sausage that has mayoran <laughs> inside. <laughs> ah, I got it. of the papardelle with prawns. I mean, they are a little bit maybe hassle, but for the presentation is amazing. I go with this. Mm. I love the tomato sauce and the cherry tomato that they are fresh is amazing. I love the prawns. I mean, you cannot make any mistake with prawns. Uh, it's really good. Uh, the papardelle, they are homemade, so that's the reason why they are a little bit more expensive. I need a little bit only more acid, I would say. So I will ask for a little bit of lemon. I don't know about you guys, but the way I eat my burgers is I usually cut them in half. And once I cut them in half, I will be able to start biting. And of course, I'm gonna hold it with my hands. The bread, the bun, it's really fresh. I can feel the knife just like gliding into it. Drum roll, please. It's meat. It's like pure, proper meat. It's not like those patties that you buy them from the supermarket and you just flush them on the grill and then you eat. No, it's like 100% pure beef. Hold on a minute, one more bite. If I can give a rate right now, it's nine out of 10 because I like my beef more well done. Really good. Mm, 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 mm. Fries, 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 fries. Look at the shape of the fries, the way it's been cut. I love a good crunchy fries. Amazing. I mean, this is a real potato. You can see the way they were slicing it. Look at that. Soft in the middle, you feel the nice taste of a potato and crunchy on the side because it even has the skin. Mm. Fries 10 out of 10. <laughs> we just moved in because it's really hot and I cannot anymore. Can we have one iced coffee for the gentleman and one espresso? I'm seeing now what they're doing. By the pool, they're passing by with a tray. Now you can see the guy at the back mm -hmm. with a tray of watermelon and they're offering to the guests who are enjoying outside by the swimming pool. Yes, it's nice. Oh. Hi there. So oh, wow. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Let's see. Oh. Thanks, so much. Nice. Thanks a lot. Cool. Thank you. So I need to go with the espresso. 
I make always this. I make always this because otherwise it's too hot, yeah? Sorry for that. It's not that good? Not at all. And how is it about your nice coffee? <laughs> Let's see. Mine is very strong. It looks lighter than it tastes. It tastes really strong. It was a really nice place to review with you. Yeah. And I would say we should move on. The service was amazing. They came always to us to ask if we need something, if we don't, you know, we didn't wait. Nothing, we didn't wait at all. They came to us with some watermelons, which, which we didn't ask for, so it was a really refreshing thing, uh, which was a plus point. You will never get that kind of basic service when you ask something, where is the toilet? And they'll tell you, it's down there. No, they will be like, follow me this way, I'll show you where it is. Or if you, like for example, right now where we are on the rooftop, we asked like, can we go up on the roof and just like record the last part? And she was like, absolutely, go for it. So it was not like, yeah, yeah, you can go. So this is the thing that I really, really like that I can say it's 10 out of 10. For me, guys, the drinks were amazing. The cocktails that I had, the Fronzer Margarita was fantastic. So the beverage menu was really nice. The signature cocktails from the other hand, they didn't give that wow effect. You know, when you say that there is something that you should definitely go to that place to try because of that specific signature cocktail. Maybe if I had the chance to try all of them, I would have changed my mind, but so I would give for the beverage menu, eight out of 10. Well, about the food. I love the multi. Where is my 10 euros, man? Where's my 10 euros? <laughs> I have a card only. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the sausages. They were really cool. Uh, the portions were really big, big, big. So I wouldn't like take it for one person. I would at least share it for two. Uh, the falafel, I would expect a little bit better, like a little bit of marination for rucola at least. And the falafel should be a little bit more juicy and the deep sauce, the tzatziki, so had actually no garlic at all. The quality and the presentation of the food was 10 out of 10. It doesn't have like a signature taste that you would say, oh wow, this is an amazing place with an amazing food, but the burger has a taste that you have never find it anywhere, no. It was pretty much the same taste that you find it everywhere. Maybe a little bit more of vegan and vegetarian option, it would have been even better. I agree. I love the prawns, they were really good. I love the pappardelle, for that I would give an eight. Well guys, let's talk about the ambience. You see what is behind me, so I don't think that we need to talk much a lot about this, yeah. about this place. Uh, we make like a round here only, that you see. I love the rooftop. The roof is amazing. I love the pool, I love the scenery, so it's, I would say, like 20 out of 10. So you're talking, I'm hearing everything, and I'm like, yeah, he's right. The most beautiful scenery I've ever had in a restaurant, you know, here in Valletta. Definitely, the embassy rooftop is one of the best one, I would say. So far that we've seen on your channel. Black Egg was also amazing. Yeah, yeah don't forget the, about Black Egg. The, as a rooftop places, I think this is This is the first rooftop, 10, yes. yeah. The average point of this particular rooftop would be? Nine. Nine. Out of 10. It's true, yes. man. Let's say it night with a star. Night with a star. <laughs> I would say yes. It's true, it's true. Guys, don't forget to subscribe him, to subscribe me. Subscribes. <laughs> to subscribe me. The channel Tabletta. Put in the comment where we have to go and review next. Cheers, guys. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Bye.